Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this episode, I want to talk to you about wave painting. Wave painting is this photography that you see where you have the wave going around the different rocks and it just makes awesome shapes. The way that's being done is using lone exposure. And in this video, I'm going to give you some important tips to get this right. Stay until the end. You got to listen to the last three tips. They're amazing. By the way, guys, before I get started, if you can like this video, leave me a comment and share it. That really helps for other people to know this video. It really, really helps. So take a moment and like this video if you can. That'd be amazing. All right, so let's get started now. I went to El Matador Beach, one of the most famous beach in Malibu, to do some wave painting. I was also in Iceland doing some wave painting, and I'm going to show you retouching from both of these places. But I'm going to illustrate this in Malibu. So tip number one, have a good tripod and use a self timer. Yeah, it's very important to have a tripod because the tripod is going to make sure you don't move. The best is to use a remote so you don't touch your camera and can you really grab that wave at the right time. We want to do between one to three seconds on exposure to get this sort of waveform. And so that's tip number one. Tip number two, find a good foreground, middle ground and background. This one is very important because wave painting is all about the foreground. Tip number three, shoot SGR as needed. SGR is amazing. I usually shoot minus two, zero and plus two because it's going to give you different lone exposure and sometimes one exposure is going to look best than another's. So if you have extreme, extreme dynamic range, like this situation in El Matador, use HDR. Tip number four, you don't necessarily need an ND filter because the best wave painting you're going to get is right at sunset, is right when the sun is getting really low and usually it gets darker. And I find that I get the best colors without using any indie filter because you don't need such a long exposure. You only need like one to three second exposure maximum. So I just put my camera on the lowest ISO possible. I, you know, I'm on a tripod and I try to get one to three second exposure and that's the best. The best photo I got in El Matador, I did not have an indie filter on. Tip number five, shoot toward the good light. Sometimes when it comes sunset or golden hour, the west side usually looks the best, but sometimes the east side is amazing too. Just look for these good clouds and make sure you're pointing your camera towards the good light. Tip number six, shoot toward the wave. Now that's a mistake I did for many, many, many times I went out there where you're basically shooting toward, you know, the rocks, which is fine, but the water is coming on the left side. You want to be toward the wave. That's very important because we're trying to get this shape of the wave. And it's not always easy because sometimes the best foreground, middle ground and background is going to be toward, you know, parallel to the wave motion. So it's tricky. You have to find something where you can see the nice wave motion and the foreground and the middle ground and the background. When it gets dark and when the sunset is a bit low, try to be around one second. I find that the best wave painting I got is around one second. Sometimes it's amazing at two, but I used to do long exposure like five, 10, 20, 30 seconds. You're not going to get any wave painting if you're too low. So make sure you use your settings so you can be around one second. The way I do it is I go 100 ISO, stable data. Then I usually go like F4, F7, F10. I always focus on the foreground rocks and then I just play around the speed. As long as I'm within one to three seconds, I'm happy. Tip number eight, use my free presets to retouch your photography. So I'm going to jump into Lightroom right now and I'm going to install the free preset. You'll find the link is below. When you get the link preset, you will get them by email. I will propose you an amazing deal to buy all my presets. If you can do it, it's amazing. It really helps to support my channel. So I'm just going to go to import preset. Uh, it's this file here you're going to get by email. It's called Lightroom CCNClassic.zip. So this is for people who have uh, the Creative Cloud subscription. If you don't have the subscription, it's totally okay. I have another version with a PDF to show you how to install it. Once it's installed, it's gonna go really fast. So I'm gonna jump into Lightroom and I'm gonna start with this one. This is one of my favorite that I shot. So you can see here, it's a one second exposure, 6.3 ISO 100. So it was getting really dark and I'm gonna go right away and use my sunset preset. Check this out, one click, one click. Look at the result and then I'm gonna Hold on the option key. I'm gonna make sure my black point is really black, which is good. I'm holding on the option key. I'm gonna make my white point. Now, so the white point is, you see that's in red, that's gonna be completely burned. You don't want that. So I'm gonna back this off. 
So now I got a black point and a white point. I'm just going to add a bit of contrast. And um, maybe it's a little too magenta to me, so I'm going to bring down the magenta just a tad. And very important when it comes to wave painting, we got to, I'm going to take a brush and then I'm going to make sure my exposure is at below 0.5, that my flow and density is in the 70s, and I'm just going to brush here over the, uh, the wave. And at first you will see almost nothing because it's such a low value, but I'd rather stack brushes on the top of brushes. So now I'm going to go here, new, make a new brush, and I'm just going to insist with the same value, 0.42, on some areas, maybe a little more in this case, it's really not doing much. And I just want to see the movement of the wave here a little bit, especially around this rock. I think it looks amazing. If you overdo it, people are going to look at the photo and say, oh, something is weird. You need to look at your photos the next day and ask yourself, did I paint there or not? If you, if you have like a little, uh, I'm not sure, then you know you nailed it. If you can see it right away, you know you've gone too far. So let's see here. Make sure also that you show edit pins is on auto this way. When you take out your brush and you go out of the photo, you can appreciate it without the brush. I think I'm liking this. Maybe just a tad more contrast. Yeah. So this is before the, the use of the free preset and this is with the preset. Now, one thing that is cool is that when you're shooting in manual like I'm doing, most of the photos will have a similar setting. So for example, this one is 1 second 6.3. This one is 1 second 6.3. And this one is 1 second 6.3. So literally I can take this, I can select with command the three other photos, click on synchronize, and I can synchronize this including, maybe not the brush, I'm not going to synchronize the brush because the wave are different from one photo to another, and boom, check this out. And it's basically retouched. Let me just put this aside, we don't need the preset anymore. And you see now all I have to do is go to my brush preset and, and, and I just have to do the wave painting really fast, you know. And that's really cool. It, it gives me a great base because once you have something that you like and because you're shooting manual and you're only changing the speed every once in a while, you can synchronize and it goes really fast to retouch. And same thing, I can take the next one and I can go to my brush settings. And every, that's what I love about wave painting. Every different photos, the way the wave comes and goes, comes and goes, is going to be different. It's such an artistic thing. I love going at the beach and taking photos like this. I hope you... Uh, you get an opportunity to travel again and be able to go to see a nice beach. Uh, yeah, I really like this one. Let me show you one of my favorite from Iceland. Same thing here. I'm going to use my uh, sunset preset, one click, and then I'm going to go and do my black point. So I hold the option key and I move to the right. Okay, I want a bit of black. That's good. And then I'm going to do my white point. That's good. Too much white. I'm going to add some contrast. This one, I think I want to make it a little warmer. Uh, because it's too blue to me, it was so blue. Maybe even add a bit of magenta on this one. I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna take the angle to make this photo straight. So I'm gonna follow the horizon line and then I'm gonna go to 16 by 9 because this photo I ended up doing it 16 by 9. I think it was more powerful. Because I use my preset, I can go here and I can grab the gradients. I have a gradient on top and a gradient on the bottom and I can just grab and move them as I want. I can go here. And I have a little circle that I'm going to put over where the sun is or maybe just a bit on the side like this. And that just helps making the sunset pop. I'm going to add even more contrast. When you add contrast, it makes the photo darker and it makes the photo more saturated. So in one click, you do that. That's lovely. And last but not least, I'm going to go here and use my brush to make this wave paint. Ooh, really pop. Maybe just a little more than uh, 0.5 just to go faster. In real life, I would stay up on fine. I would just brush over and over and I'm going to make this a bit brighter also. Yeah, I just want to, I'm kind of overdoing so it's very visible on, on video. In real life, I might do it a bit more subtle and voila. This is the before and this is the final result. Guys, I hope you can travel again. You can go to a nice beach. Don't forget to get my free preset. You will love them. If you can get my full pack, it's really cheap but I've taken seven years to do it. It will change your life. Especially watch all the tutorials that goes with it. It's a great deal I have under this video. Thank you very much and I will see you in my next video. So half a meter is gonna be, uh, let's see here. Um, I'm zooming in to make sure I'm good. I'm, yeah, I'm focusing like on the next flower. That's over there. Okay. I make sure I'm sharp. Yeah, so now it's good. These flowers are blurry. This one is sharp. 
And now I'm gonna, uh, I can, I'm gonna move further. I'm gonna go 